Hello guys, this is Sushant. So welcome to the channel that is Sci Engineers. I hope you have started with your cap round application form. In this particular video, we are going to specifically concentrate on how to shortlist your institute. So there are certain points which we are going to discuss about. So let's get going. The first main important point while deciding upon the institute is you have to decide first of all which branch you want to apply for. Now this is the most crucial point that is selection of your branch. Many of the students are really confused on what branch they should go to. They will be listening to many people's advice that this particular branch is good for getting a job, this particular job is good for getting other things and so on. So my advice is first of all listen to yourself that is you know yourself better than other people. You have to yourself understand what are your own interests. If you are passionate about certain topics in your physics or in your chemistry or the other subjects which you might have studied, if you are passionate about it then do go follow. You should first of all understand the various streams, various branches which are there. We have already discussed some of the branches like computers and electronics engineering. We will be discussing about some other branches also. So please do suggest in the comment section which more branches you would like us to discuss upon. Like for example if you are not interested in doing a desk job and you would like to work on field then most probably you for you civil engineering can be an option. If you are interested in programming, if you are interested in working on computers then the fields which you should go for is computer and the IT engineering. If you are interested in learning about the inside of your gadgets then you should go for the electronics engineering or electronics communication engineering or instrumentation engineering. If you are interested to understand the mechanics of different objects which are around you then you should go for mechanical engineering. If the topics in physics like force, vectors really inspire you then mechanical engineering can be one of the options for you. If you are interested in biology but are not interested in the medicines that is the medical field then you can go and opt for biotechnology or biomedical fields. Whichever field you choose it at the end of the day it's going to be a monotonous job and regardless of that you should be happy in working in that particular field. Once you have shortlisted on the fields which you want to opt for then you can go and search out for more information on those fields. One thing people should understand is that if they have chosen any particular field and they want to switch into some other field which is related to this particular field then they can do so. Like if you have chosen electronics engineering and if you are interested in the programming aspect of it then you can switch over in your masters to computer branch also. You have to follow the required procedures in doing so. After shortlisting your field then you can go for availability of the fields. Like what are the institutes which are giving this particular coursework in them. The other thing which you should also consider is the future as prospects of it. Like if you want to do further studies in that particular field then what is the future as prospect in India and abroad also. After you have shortlisted your fields it is not necessary that you should go and offer only one particular field. You can have a set of 2-3 fields along with you. But you should narrow it down to 2-3 fields. So after you have shortlisted those you should now shortlist the institutes which are present. There are different criteria in shortlisting the institute. One of the criteria is whether it is going to provide you with the required field which you have chosen. There is also a term which is called as accreditation. Now accreditation is related to the stream which is being accredited. So it is specif specifically to the stream which is present in that particular institute. If an institute is A grade and none of its stream is accredited and on the other hand if there is an A grade institute and one of its stream has been accredited which is of your choice then that particular stream or that particular institute should be given the first preference. The other thing which you should consider is the coursework which is given in that institute. Like if you are opting for other institutes apart from Mumbai University then there is different coursework depending on the university under which the institute is going to come. Or if it is a deemed university then 
it will follow its own set of coursework and syllabus. Most of the syllabus do run parallelly in most of the institute, but it is mandatory that you go and check the coursework which is being provided in that particular institute. The other thing which you should consider is the job prospect or the placements which are given in that particular institute. You should go and contact with the students which are your senior students to understand the job placements which have been done. If you could access to the final year students who might have passed out from that institute or the people who are currently in the final year or who are going to go into the final year, if you could just ask them, then you would get a clear idea on the job prospect in that particular institute. You should be able to understand what are the placements which have been done in that particular year, how many companies came in that institute, how many students were selected and all those things. I would advise to at least talk to two or three different seniors to understand the overall environment in the institute also. Even if you talk to the seniors from different fields, you will get a rough idea on the teachers in that institute, the environment around that institute and also the job prospect in that institute. If none of this is possible, then please do at least go and visit the institute's website. The website will give you some idea about how the institute is working, the various teachers which are present. Most of the information is provided on the website like the professors who are teaching in different fields, their interest and also the progress of the students and the placements which have been done in that particular institute. So please do at least go and visit the website. The other criteria which you should consider is the traveling. Now while selecting your engineering institute, it is always going to be a thing of traveling to that institute. Most of the good institutes will be very much far from your home place. If you are deciding on traveling on a daily basis to that institute, then you have to consider the amount of time which will be required to travel to the institute. If it is going to take more than 2-3 hours daily traveling, then it would be better if you could get a hostel or some accommodation which is going to be near to the institute. There have been people who do travel for more than three hours daily to the college and from the college. So it is not this particular criteria is not mandatory but if it is going to be a real issue for you guys then you have to consider this particular point. Also you should consider the fees of that institute. So depending on the type of institute there will be a different amount of fees which will be levied on you. If you are going to visit the institute then make it a point to visit the lab facilities also because you will be getting your practical knowledge from the labs and make it a point to ask the seniors if you are going to visit that particular college. So these are some of the points which you should consider while filling up your option forms. So it is advisable to start working on the option form from today itself because you have to first of all shortlist the fields which you want to opt for, the institutes which you want to opt for, make down a list of all those institutes and then you will be ready for filling up the option forms. Also if possible do try to get in the cutoffs for those institutes so that you get a rough idea whether there is a chance of getting into that institute or not. We will be sharing with you some more information on the various cap rounds which are going to be held and more on the option forms. What are the things which you should consider while filling up those forms. So please do let us know what more things you would like to know about and what more we can do for you guys. So signing off, this is Sushan. We are from Samartha Vidya. We do conduct classes for engineering that is BE, BTech and also for diploma students. We also conduct classes for the PCM 11th and 12th along with the vocational batches. And also we prepare students for the engineering entrances. We also conduct classes for private group, private or group home tuitions for all these students. To get more information, you can visit our Facebook page and to contact us, you can email us at samarthavidya at the rate gmail.com. Please do share, please do like our videos and please do comment on the videos which we are doing. So keep watching, keep learning and happy learning.